Hello, hello. Just got off a call with some clients, getting some sun. It's beautiful here in Toronto today. The weather's getting better, excited for that. Got off a call with some clients, and one of my clients came in with a question. She said that, you know, she put an offer in front of somebody and um, she got a lot of price resistance. Got some objections to price. And she was looking for some advice on how to respond to that. And the truth is that the mistake was made in the earlier part of the conversation. The mistake was made in that very first conversation. Because a price objection is almost never really a price objection. A price is what we call a shadow objection for belief. It's not that they think it's too expensive or they can't afford it. I mean, sometimes they genuinely can't afford it, but usually that's not the real objection. The real objection is they don't really believe that it's going to work. They don't really believe that you can help them or they don't really believe that you can get them results. And typically, the number one reason why that objection comes out is because you haven't been clear on what the results are, what the outcomes are, and why it matters to the client. See, most service providers, most consultants are very comfortable talking about the mechanics and the logistics and here's what I'm gonna do for you and here are the deliverables you're gonna get and here's how much time I'm going to spend and how many days I'll be on site and this, that, and the other. But clients don't care about any of that stuff. They don't want days, they don't want time, they don't want hours, they don't want deliverables. They definitely don't want reports. Like They don't want those things. They want the outcomes of those things. They want the consequences of things. They want the results of those things. That's what they want. So when you get price objections, chances are nine times out of 10, and I will, you know, I'm, if I was a betting man, I would put money on this. Chances are you haven't done a very good job of articulating with the client. It's not for you to articulate, but, but jointly uncovering what their real goals and objectives are. What do they want to achieve? What outcomes do they want? And why are those outcomes important to them? Really important question. It's one thing to have goals. It's another thing to know why you have those goals. That applies to you at a personal level. If you have goals that have no meaning behind them, you don't have a why behind those goals. There's no really strong reason motivating you to actually achieve those goals. You're not gonna achieve those goals. The same is true for your clients. It's one thing to have goals and objectives and outcomes and results, but if, if you're not clear with them on why they want those things, they're not gonna be terribly motivated to work with you. So when you get price objections, price resistance, the number one reason that's happening is because you haven't gotten clear with the client on what the outcome is, what the result is. Because if they knew what the outcome was and the result was, and they had confidence that you could help them get that result, price would no longer be an objection. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments. Happy to help. Cheers.